Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the sealed cards of Magic the Gathering going down. This is the buy list of sealed, recent buy list from Card Kingdom. Either It's either a day or maybe two days old. I think the buy list is really the best way to look at a the card prices, especially for sealed. Many times, um, the problem when you invest in sealed is you have all this old inventory, but how are you going to sell it? There's no liquidity. There's not like a ton of people looking to buy very, very old sets, right? Because the new sets are always more important. The new sets are always power, you know, reprints are even more broken than the previous sets. Not many people are going to pick a new set over a are going to pick an older set over a newer set mainly because standard and the hype around the new cards so when you have like something like even a good set like war of the sparks it has nowhere to go in my opinion but down the war of the sparks has absolutely collapsed and there's no other way to say it but it kind of deserves to be at the price point it is currently at there is no there's no up right now. People need money. People need to pay for food, housing, rent. I think um, I would definitely recommend you keep your money right now. You keep the cash and you either invest in something that can give you a good rate of return like a CD or you invest in the stock market, maybe the S&P 500, right? I do believe, right, that the individuals that are telling you to invest in sealed, they never give you an exit strategy. There's no liquidity. There's no who do you sell it to. How, how are you going to sell 40 boxes of Modern Horizon? Who is going to buy it? You know, who's going to buy that? Who would want that? All the key cards have been reprinted and it's not exactly underprinted. So in terms of the rarity of the box, it's non exact You look at these prices and all they've done is gone down in price. There is really no marketplace for this. I, I don't think that there is a high demand uh, for these older boxes, especially these older, quote, modern boxes and standard boxes. Let's say, let's say you have a bunch of them. What are your outs? How are you going to sell them? Even the buy list limits you, right? Like double VIP edition. You remember how popular that was when Rudy Chan was selling it for like $150, $200, right? Now, I mean, they don't even want them. You can see that like th there's limits and gate crafts, $50, and they don't even want to take them. These prices are one-fourth, one-half, one... -fourth, one, -half, one um, of what the buy list used to be. The buy list used to be incredibly strong on these cards, and now they're just uh, nothing. I do feel like the buy list can continue to go down, and the reason I believe it will continue to go down, there's just not any demand. I mean, when's the last time you really thought, oh, I what I really need is, I need an Innistrad double feature draft pack, or I really need a box of Homeland. It is what it is, right? Like people try to pretend that um, that these cards can only go up in price. What is your exit? You got like 500 boxes of Homeland. I mean, the biggest card store in America will take four of them. Battle Bond, for instance, they'll take one of them for 180. So what are you going to do with the other two, 200 Battle Bonds? Like people have a lot of this shit. And there's no reason to invest in it. There's no reason to have so much of it, in my personal opinion, because at the end of the day, no one, if the biggest card shop in America, Card Kingdom, one of the biggest, cannot sell it, you don't have a chance in hell to sell it. Let me repeat this again. If the biggest card shop in America cannot sell the product, you don't have a chance in hell to sell it because they have advertising, they spend on pay per click, they spend on. A lot of other metrics that like people don't understand is expensive. Influencers, for instance. Um, I am overall just really shocked and surprised that anyone would think this is a great investment uh, because it's not. 
it is a terrible investment uh, long term. Read because there's just too much of this, right? There's just too much of this, right? Um, there's just too much of it, and in my opinion, right? I don't really see uh, the end. I don't really see what the goal is. So you're gonna. So the plan is to store a bunch of these boxes in a closet or a garage and a storage, and just store as much as you can. You can see Modern Horizons is a set that Rudy really pumped. Sitting at 130, he's, I think he sold it for 180, 190, 200. Limit 10. Well, a lot of these people who got pumped, they have way more than 10. So how are they going to um, respond to this? It doesn't make any sense, in my opinion. Like, how are they going to sell? Like, they, for their, for it to be an investment, you have to be able to sell it, right? You have to be able to sell it. If you are not able to sell it, you're just kind of, you're kind of just uh, left in the dark, right? I do, um, I do believe that this is probably, you know, the, the cards have another 20, 30% to go down and and maybe that will be the bottom. Right now, it's really interesting, right? It, it's really, really interesting. I'm not positive if there is more ability for it to really crash. I think this is very low. Journey to Nick. MSRP is at 140 or 120 in these boxes, and the distributor price is 90 now. And if you can get an old box for less than distributor price, like 10 years later. I think that's very interesting. I think that's something that you have to look at and 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 kind of um, I think that's something that you have to look at and say, "Wow, that's a really really fantastic deal." Um and so on. Anyway, I would definitely say this that in terms of these prices, these are the real prices. I mean, when you have so much of it, the only way that you can um, the only way that you can get out of it, um, is to just liquidate at a loss, right? At a loss. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye guys.